ko te mate o te ao Māori, uh, ko ngā tānga, uh, ko ngā tāne, ana ko matua te ingoa, ko ngā wahine, ko whāia te ingoa. Ina te take ka wareware te tangata i ngā ingoa kāti e aku rangatira. He mihi atua nau ki a tātou katoa, ko a whakarawi ka mai nei ki runga i tō tātou kaupapa. E tika ana, kia mihi atu, uh, ki a koe e, e kare e hāvi, i whakaritia nei i tō tātou ata, uh, kia whakatongia mai i te wairua tapu ki roto i te ngākau o tēnā, o tēnā, o tēnā, ko tatū mai. A kororia tonu uh, ki te wahi ngaro, uh, ki a rātou i hāpa i ake, i whakatō mai, i ngā kaupapa, uh, hei amohanga mā tātou ki roto i te aone. A no reira ka tahuri atu ngā whakaaro ki a rātou kua ngaro atu ki te pō, a koutou katoa o ngā marae maha puta noa, haere, haere, haere. Ka whakahokia mai ngā rārangi kōrero ki a tātou e aku rangatira tēnā koutou. E, e te kuia e Molly e Harikoana. E Harikoana kua tatu mai au ki roto i ākoe, nā runga i tō karanga me te karanga o iwi. A, kia tae tae mai te tini me te mano a, ki tō tātou kaupapa e tāwharau nei koutou i tēnei taima. E mihi atu ana au ki ākoe, a kāti ki ākoe e te hea mano o te poari e Trevor. Um, it is true, uh, after a conversation with you, you became Uncle Trevor. So it's fantastic uh, and I want to acknowledge you Trevor and of course uh, to Helen and the team of Te Pūtahitanga, tēnei te mihi atu ki a koutou katoa. Koutou ngā ringa raupā o te kaupapa o whānau ora, uh, e hiki ana i ngā moe moe a o te ao Māori kāti ki a koutou katoa tēnā koutou. Tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. Is my 15 minutes up? <laughs> Excellent. Look, Fano, it's fantastic to be here today, um, to be amongst the warmth of this gathering. Of course, it's a little bit cooler outside, uh, just slightly cooler than Te Tai Tokero, um, but it's great to be uh, with like-minded people. Um, my contribution to this particular kaupapa here today isn't to tell you what to do. You already are doing the mahi, and you're doing a fantastic job. Uh, over the past few weeks, I have had the fortune of visiting o Tautahi, o Tākau, uh, Murihiku, uh, Te Tihi o Maru, uh, Hokitika, uh, to discuss with communities and with whānau far and wide their aspirations. And one thing resonated the most amongst those conversations was that Whānau Ora is helping them do that. I know that. You know that. So what is our challenge then? Our challenge is to make sure that a certain number of people who sit in a round building in Pōneke know that. So I'm not here to tell you what Whānau Ora is, how to do Whānau Ora, but I hope that we can share some insight into where we collectively can take Whānau Ora. And in doing so, can I acknowledge, of course, the whakapapa of whānau ora. Uh, not just whānau ora since mai rāno, but of course its iteration under government. And I want to acknowledge Dame Tariana Tūdia, of course, uh, uh, mea tā Pita Hapara, uh, Uncle Pita, Papa Pete, and of course Te Ururoa Flevo. And the many other ringa that have guided whānau ora through seemingly tricky waters. And the tricky waters, sadly, aren't the ones that are running past our marae or through our communities. Those tricky waters only find themselves in amongst the bureaucracy of Wellington. So I want to acknowledge the Whakapapa of Whānau Ora, all of those who have been involved in it from the beginning and, of course, to today. Many of you are sitting in this room. It's great to see so many Ngāpuhi. There's a lot of whanaunga in here, and it's great to see you all. I wondered where you all disappeared to. <clears throat> I thought, geez, by crikey, I, they disappeared once we started talking about settlements, and now I've found you. <laughs> so it's fantastic to see so many whanaunga from far and wide. Um, <clears throat> whānau Ora is the true integrated service that the government keeps talking about. Whānau Ora, I know, is the integration between all of the major ministries in the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Social Development, Ministry of Education, Ministry of Justice, Corrections, and so on and so on. 
The problem with the bureaucratic system is it's only finally catching up to what whānau order truly is. Whānau order isn't simply an integration of government services. Whānau order is an integration of everything. And it was displayed on the videos that we saw this morning where initiatives, entrepreneurialism, um, and great ideas all come together, whether they be in business, health, social development, whatever it might be. That truly is fine, no order. So, how then do we make the people in the little round building in Porneke also believe in fine, no order? I can tell you we have a unique opportunity, in my opinion, with a Prime Minister who understands truly what whānau order is. I remember one day she said to me, Pini, can you write me a mihi? And I said, hell no. I said, it's easy for anyone to get up and say, te nā koto, te nā koto, te nā koto katoa. I said, what's the kaupapa? She said, I'm going to go and talk about water. I said, well, let me teach you a few concepts about water. This is what kaitiakitanga means. This is what wai Māori means. This is what Modi and ora mean. She says, okay, so how do I put that in a mihi? I said, forget the mihi. Let's focus on these concepts and what they truly mean. And she smashed it. Understood finally what kaitiakitanga truly means. That it isn't simply a speech to deliver to a room. So in that vein, when her and I sat down and discussed whānau water, about truly what Fano means and what ora means. She gets it. Therefore, she places challenges on my colleagues in Parliament. And some of those challenges are about the way we operate, not the way you operate. How can we make Fano order bigger, better and stronger? And the answer is we support it properly. That's what the answer is. Because only people like yourselves who work with our families can make Fano order bigger, stronger, and better. So, the challenge then that she laid in front of myself and, the co and my colleagues are no more silos. And while I say that, I'm aware that that's easier said than done. Because the way the system is designed is to simply say, here is vote Māori, here is vote health, here is vote social development, and there's no integration in that. So for as long as we continue to have vote Māori, vote health, vote social development and every other uh, procurement vote in government, you're only ever going to work that way. Therefore, we are setting ambitious goals in our budget, this upcoming budget and next year's budget, to actually focus on outcomes. Therefore, there's a level playing field where we say, here are our tuanui, and our tuanui will be social well-being, economic prosperity, conservation and kaitiakitanga. Underneath that will sit those particular government departments and those particular votes. And the challenge under such a system is that these are the outcomes we desire, get it done. No more just health, no more just social development, well-being is going to be our kaupapa. And to truly get an integrated service will mean that those ministries that have far too long acted in self-interest and on their own must all pursue the same goals as defined to them by the Prime Minister and the Finance Minister. And that's exciting. For many of us, For most people, that's bureaucratic nonsense. <laughs> it's a system that sits in Wellington. But I can tell you, it's a system that's about to go through a major overhaul, and it needs to. And it needs to. And the example I give is whānau water. Whānau water, of course, we know how much whānau water gets. We know that it could do with so much more because we know the great mahi that it does. And I've always said this to the officials, well, give me just 1% of the Ministry of Health budget, just 1% of the Ministry of Social Development budget, 1% of the Ministry of Education budget, and Whānau Water will change this country. And they all say, oh, 1%, by crikey. That's a bit too much, Minister. And that's the beauty about the change in system that we're proposing. 
that it's strictly under those tuanui that say social well-being is our outcome. No longer just health outcomes or social development outcomes. Social well-being. And that's exciting. So I want to park that court it all there and no doubt I'll have some other tuanui come up and say, look, this is what we need. This is a new tuanui. Uh, not the tuanui to the whare iti, but this is a new tuanui. So I look forward to that conversation and I'll, I'll let that soak in uh, for now. What I also want to talk about too is measurements. Measurements. It's a terrible word. Measurements. How do we measure data? How do we capture data to better inform our decisions moving into the future? There are a number of fish hooks in this space. But I want to say this. I support the notion, and these are the conversations that I'm having with my colleagues, that the data that we collect from our whanau, the data that we collect from our communities and from our hapu and iwi should belong to them. More importantly, a good relationship between those who collect the data and those who the data belongs to can only make for more meaningful conversations into the future. It's the only way it's going to work. Only way. But that's going to cause uh, a few challenges. Very soon there will be a consultation process with many of the people in this room far and wide. And that consultation process will talk to communities about the integrity of the data and how the data is used. The data should no longer be pooled in Wellington and then the Wellington story told to the people from whence the data came. I know that if Kaitahu, for example, uh, were given the kind of data sets that the government currently has, I'm sure Kaitahu would be able to make some well-informed decisions, do some great strategic planning, for the better outcomes of kaitahu. That's a no-brainer. A better kaitahu is a better New Zealand Aotearoa. So, please keep an eye out. That consultation round will come around very shortly because the data that's being captured are the whānau you all work with. They are the young people that go to court. They are our whānau who are just looking for a driver's licence. They are whānau who are on uh, seeking social assistance from the government. They are whānau who are wanting to get into business. They are all the whānau that you work with, and it's important that you have your say in protecting the integrity of that data, and more importantly, the future stories of that data. Can I also say um, it's fantastic to be here with Te Puni Kōkiri, and I want to reiterate this to you all. I know there are criticisms out there about Te Puni Kōkiri, but I can tell you I've not met one Te Puni Kōkiri staff member who isn't committed to this kaupapa to advance our people. Not one. And I want to make sure to pass on, on their behalf, actually they are committed to this kaupapa and they are working with me and the good people right across the country to make sure that not just far no water, but all aspirations of our people are met. So I want to acknowledge Te Puni Kōkiri. Because most of the hui I've been to in the five months since becoming a minister have often whipped te puni kōkiri or used them as an excuse or a scapegoat. Can I just please ask you, uh, out of respect and of course all of the notions that we believe in as Māori to know that these kaimahi are doing fantastic work. It's not always going to be perfect, but I can tell you they strive to achieve the best results for our people. So I want to mihi to Te Puni Kōkiri, who I know work extremely hard. So, where to from here? What does the future have for whānau ora? When I travelled across to Waipounamu, it was my chance to dispel a few mistruths. We aren't getting rid of whānau ora. Whānau ora isn't going anywhere. In fact, whānau ora, as I alluded to at the beginning of my kōrero, is the true integrated service and the beacon of light for social and economic prosperity in this country. It is not going anywhere. However, we did say we would undertake a review. And the review currently as it stands is going through its administrative paces in Pōneke, where 
Once the green light is given, the review will commence. The review, I have instructed the officials, will be as inclusive as we can make it. We must hear from you all. We must hear from the people who work with the whānau. We must also hear from the whānau themselves to make sure that the review um, can prove to, where are you, Dallas? Can prove to Dallas's relation, Mr. Winston Peters, <laughs> that actually whānau water is what's going to take this country forward. The review isn't here to criticise or to tear down whānau water, no. It's to highlight its strengths. And even better to reflect back on the social services of the government that have failed to deliver for our people. That's the purposes of the review. Once the review is done, I'm confident that whānau water will be that transformational mechanism the government and this country have been looking for for a long time. And therefore, we can look forward to a bigger, stronger and better whānau water into the future. Nō reira kāti ake rā i aku rangatira. Kā re e kore, uh, ka koro pupu nei ngā pātai ki roto i te pīnati o tēnā, o tēnā, o tēnā o koutou. Ka noho tonu a hau mo te roa ngāke o tēnei ata. Mehe mea he pātai au, mehe mea he nawe, mehe mea he manako, e hia hia ana, te patu nei ngā taringa o tēnei e mihi atu ana. Kāti, haere mai, kōrero mai ki au, ka ue ngau tuara, Ka ue amu amu ki roto i ngā whare iti i te taha o te whare nei kahore. Haere mai, kōrero hia, tō kōrero, kōrero hia ngā manako a tō iwi ki tēnei e tūnei. Nō reira nā runga i te whakaiti e oku rangatira e mihi atu ana hau ki a koutou e oku mārai kura e oku whatu kura. Koutou katoa puta noa tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa.